Hello dear students, welcome to another lecture of English class. So even today, we will be continuing the lesson Toasted English, okay? Now this one you will find it in page number 80. Today we will continue from page 80, that is the last paragraph. Okay, you can refer to a textbook when I am reading this lines, okay? The toasting of English has been achieved through other means also. Americans have evolved certain basic keywords which may be used anywhere, anyhow, words which have universal multipurpose ears. I may make my point clear. If I mention the usage of the word check, which may be safely labeled as the American national expression. While the British usage confines to the bare dictionary definition, the American use it, uses it anywhere. This expression is so devised that one may blindly utter it and still find that, that it is appropriate for the occasion. So here... The author, Arkin Ryan, he says, okay, um, the modification, okay, the toasting means modification, right? The modification of English has been, okay, achieved even through other means also, okay? Not only by, you know, like uh, by taking out the passive voice from the English language. No, not only that, okay, but even the modification, the toasting of English has been done even by other means also, now here, he is giving us some examples again. Yeah, like uh, he is giving us some examples how Americans have, you know, modified the language. So these Americans, they have come out with a few words that can be used anywhere, any anytime. Okay, this few words can be used anywhere and anytime, whenever they want. So to clear, okay, to clear his point... He is giving us, he has used some examples here. The, by, by using the word, uh, the, by giving the example of the word check, okay? C-H-E-C-K, check. Which may be safely labeled as the American national expression. Now here, this word check can be labeled, okay? Can be like, we can give the label, okay? Of the, uh, like this word check can be labeled as the American national expression. That means... This national American expression means this word can be used in America by anyone, okay? Anyone, for any purpose, it can be used. While the British usage confines to the bare dictionary definition here, he says that the Britishers, they use the word only according to the meaning, okay? The, the, uh, here, he is giving us a comparison between the Britishers and the, Amer uh, like the way the Americans use the language and the way... Britishers use the language. So he says that Americans can like, you know, like this Americans, they can use uh, this words, okay? Uh, they can use these words by anyone in any occasion, okay? But for the British, the case is not like that. They use the word only according to the meaning written in dictionary. So the Britishers, they use the meaning only, like uh, they use the word only depending on the Meaning that is given in the dictionary. So they, so these Britishers, they follow the dictionary. Okay, they strictly follow the dictionary. The Americans use it anywhere, but the Americans, what happened? They use it. They use it anywhere, and this expression is so devised that one may blindly utter it. So, this expression means this uh word. Okay, check the word check. This word is so devised. Device means so mac like make up. Okay, um. Or invent, deceive. Um, sorry, device means uh, like so. Make up. This words is so make up that one may blindly utter it. Means this. So device means it has multi-purpose. This word check has multi-purpose use. Okay, many uses that one may blindly, even though like blindly while talking. Also, this word uh, check can be used. 
ब्लाइंडली मीन्स लाइक विदाउट थिंकिंग ओके विदाउट थिंकिंग स्पीकिंग विदाउट थिंकिंग स्पीकिंग द वर्ड चेक एंड विदाउट थिंकिंग वे इट विल बी यूज सो दे कैन दिस अमेरिकन्स कैन ब्लाइंडली अटर इट एंड स्टील दे फाइंड दैट इट इज एप्रोप्रिएट फॉर अ ओकेजन सो वट डू यू कैन जस्ट से चेक फॉर एनीथिंग एंड यू नीड टू बी श्योर दैट इट इज गोइंग टू फिट समवेयर or the other so this word is so device means so multi purpose okay it can be used multi purpose in multi purpose way that you can just utter the word you can just say the word check and you can you ha- you can make sure that this word is going to fit at least this uh, like word is going to fit anywhere okay somewhere or the other it has to fit in this is and this um uh, and the americans make sure that it is not going to look abrupt okay not like uh, this sound this word may sound like strange abrupt okay so they have this americans they make sure that by using the word check it does not look abrupt or abrupt it is going to and it is going to have a meaning in context to what you have spoken so anyhow they americans can fit in the word okay and they will at least they make sure that they get a meaning out of the words in context to whatever you have spoken